What's up, party people? It's Brandy, aka Pixelated and Twix, back again with another challenge. Only this isn't my challenge. This challenge belongs to a girl who sims. She's the one that started this 10 minute build apartment thingy challenge. And well, let me tell you, you guys, I try to do it. I try to. And it was an utter fail. But the apartment that you're looking at here is at 18 Culpepper. It is in the Spice Market. And I purposely chose this apartment because it was small and I figured, yeah, I can handle this. 10 minutes? Yes, I can do this. No, it worked out against me. And I tried, but I couldn't get my thought process together how I wanted to work out the floor plan and what theme I was going with or what have you. I No, I take that back. I did decide that I wanted to go with something that was um, modern because this Sim um, had found this apartment um, on a whim. The spice market I know is usually for Sims who are just starting out. And this Sim was in that same circumstance where he's fresh into adulthood and he was uh, he's just starting out on a, in his career and he happened to find this great apartment in the spice market and he jumped on it because it was a great price and it was freshly remodeled. Um, so anyways, you can see here, I'm like going back and forth, like what should I put here? Um, so I didn't, I, I will be honest with you, I did not get very far in this this redo or this, this challenge. I was literally sweating, looking at the clock, trying to figure, oh God, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I gotta do the bathroom. Oh, I gotta do the bedroom. Well, I need to do the living room. And I got some things accomplished, but I just, half beeped it it was bad like the bathroom i did manage to get a shower a sink no wait yeah that shower bathtub sink i i think i threw a mirror up there but let me tell you there are no decorations there are there are no paintings there might be a rug maybe i could be lying i'm pretty sure i didn't even put a rug in here didn't happen wasn't working out. 10 minutes is just not enough for me. I need all day to reconfigure anything or build anything for that matter because I need pure, unadulterated concentration. I, it, I just don't work the way some of the people here on YouTube can. Like These people can whip out builds in like five minutes. It's immaculate, like work. I can't do it. But yes, as you can see, this is it. This was 10 minutes. That's all I got. It is an empty, it is an empty apartment. It looks like he just moved in. Look, the bathroom is plain Jane. But I decided after my 10 minutes was up, I really needed to finish this apartment. I could not let it go like this. So this is what I did. And you'll see that I forgot to hit record. So you guys are seeing what I would already done, like a genius. Um, so I just flipped around like, here's what I did guys, cause I forgot to hit record. Um, so I started working in the kitchen, rearranging some, some things. And I actually did put some things on the shelf because that shelf was empty. It just wasn't gonna happen in 10 minutes, sorry. I need time to rearrange and full with the, the spices and things because obviously I can't get that right even after two years of, well, how long has the Sims 4 been out? Girl, it's been out for longer than two years. Four years? Okay, whatever. As long as I've been playing the Sims 4, I still can, can't get the hang of putting things on the shelf. I don't know. But I decided to add a little um, fireplace to this small apartment. I thought it, it needed it. And uh, yes, you'll see me jump a lot in this build because this was 
over an hour long, so I did cut out quite a bit, but I wanted to show you at least some of the things that I did. Um, there will be pictures later, and I will definitely have this uploaded to the gallery for you. As a matter of fact, I do need to upload a cast that I did yesterday. Okay, so here I discovered you can use these like plats, or I guess that's what you want to call them, plats, slats, whatever. As a headboard, I saw another simmer on Twitter use this. I'm like, you know what? I need to use this also. Maxis, can we get a bed that has no headboard? Can we? I mean, like a, yeah, like a platform bed with no headboard and no footboard. And then I can just use the, the technique with the slats or pallets or whatever. But yes, um, so I kind of slowed it down a little bit so you guys can kind of see what I was doing here. Um, I, I couldn't think of what to do with this bedroom and where I wanted to go and then I figured I wanted it to be a little more masculine because this simmer, or this simmer, this sim is male. That was the my train of thought. And um, you'll kind of see the way I decided to decorate this apartment was kind of a transition. He um, is a sim that is starting off but and a, as a freelance photographer, but he recently got a job um, permanently with a fashion magazine. I wish that was a real job. Oh, in The Sims. Anyway, so you can see that he's kind of transitioning from uh, a, a teen or fresh out of college kind of sim into his um, independent adulthood. And you can see by the way I decided to furnish this. Um, there's still flip-flop lighting on the on the windows, um, some of the the little trinkets he has on his desk, um, but you can tell by his furnishing choices, some of his artwork, um, things like that. He's trying to become a little more serious in, about his life and his career, but still remaining true to his playful self. Um, if this was my apartment, it would probably look like this as well. You know, the boat, not the boho chic, but maybe a little modern because of where it is, it's in the city, but still paying homage to the, the old school, um, or traditional, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but paying homage to this apartment's past because obviously this apartment was a refurbished, um, older building. Um, so yes, I decided to obviously use brick in the living room and then just throw some Ikea-esque furniture in here because he's, like I said, he's still you know, showing that he is creeping up into adulthood. Also, I felt like the Sim was a collector of, uh, what? He's a collector of what? Be what? He's a collector of, um, artifacts and art because he likes photography, he loves artwork, and I just figured this was this kind of, uh, melded in with his personality so I threw some things in his room excuse me and threw some things on the shelf um, in his uh, office area so yeah that um, was kind of my train of thought with this whole apartment again it didn't work out for me with the 10 minute bill but give me like three or four hours more and I can try to work a little magic um, I'm not as imaginative as the professional builders out there or decorators out there, but um, I do have my own little sense of style, at least what I think is cool. And we slowed it down a bit to show you my struggle with the painting. I did use some things from the Diva 
uh, menu. I honestly, I keep saying this, but I need more clutter and I need more clutter in the game. I, I can't get enough clutter. If I can get a clutter package, it'd be banging. Anyway, so we're gonna show some photos of what I did. I do hope you guys enjoyed this remodel. And if you're not subscribed, why don't you go ahead and hit that button and the bell notification so you'll know when I'll upload or when I do upload. All right. I will talk to you later, best friends. Bye-bye.